Hello everyone. So in this particular video, we'll try to solve one more problem on a single stage air compressor with clearance volume. So this is uh, one more problem on the same thing on the previous video. So let us do this. An air compressor, reciprocating air compressor with bore 15 centimeters. That means the diameter of the cylinder is given as 15 centimeters and stroke of 20 centimeters. So that is the length of uh, the movement of the piston which is given as 20 centimeters and a clearance of 5 percent. In the previous problem it was 4 percent. So now it is 5 percent. So what is clearance volume? It is VCD by BS. Runs at a speed of 300 revolutions per minute that is nothing but rpm so the compressor is running at 300 rpm the suction and delivery pressures are 1 bar and 12 bar respectively so 1 bar is nothing but this particular pressure which is p1 and uh, 12 bar is uh, this uh, pressure which is p2 okay so calculate the ideal volumetric efficiency so you have a formula for the volumetric efficiency of an air compressor you have derived in the derivative part theoretical part of this if you have uh, so kindly watch it again so if you have any doubt in that and the power input assuming that the index of compression and expansion so here the both the indices that is for the compression as well as for the expansion is same as 1.3 for both the processes so find also the theoretical maximum percentage of saving in work when you are saving the work uh, possible okay had the compression been carried out in two stages so what is the question is anyhow we have to calculate the work done sorry sorry go not work done work input to the system how much you are given it uh, parallel he has asked if the same process within the same pressure limits okay it's been carried out in the two different stages uh, incorporating two different cylinders then how much amount of work could be saved so that is the question so let us see how to do this so just write down the PV diagram for every problem in uh, applied thermodynamics which carries certain marks uh, then write down the given data D is given as 0.15 meter I have just converted it centimeters to meters here okay clearance ratio is 5 percent which is given n value is 300 rpm p1 value is 1 bar and p2 value is uh, uh, how much p2 is 12 bar i have missed here so just kindly write it as 12 bar here so n value is given as 1.3 and this is for both compression as well as for the expansion okay next so volumetric efficiency the formula is given as this particular thing which you have derived in the theoretical part of uh, the module 5 which is uh, says as volumetric efficiency is given as 1 minus c into rp to the power of 1 by n minus 1 i guess you know all the values the clearance ratio you know it as 5 percent so substitute it as uh, 1.5 which is this okay and uh, rp value is given rp value is given as 12 n value is high have given as 1.3 so you can get your volumetric efficiency with a single shot using this particular formula so net is net work done so net work done uh, is given as n by n minus 1 this also you have derived in the theoretical part uh, n minus 1 into p1 uh, into v1 minus v4 whole to into rp to the power of n minus 1 by n minus 1 okay so you know all the values except v1 and v4 i guess so you have to calculate one by one so first we shall calculate vs since the value of the diameter and the length of the stroke is given so the volumetric uh, sorry the strut volume is given as pi by 4 t square l into n number of speeds so for one particular revolution uh, one uh, uh, full whole cylinder volume would be displaced correct so for if there are n number of revolutions then you'd have to multiply the volume factor the pm so that will get the entire volume okay uh, so substitute all the things you'll get it as 1.06 meter cube okay so next a percentage uh, clearance is given as uh, clearance volume to by sweat volume so which is given as five percent now if you have calculated vs just now which is 1.6 from which you can calculate what is vc so vc is equals to v3 from your pv diagram okay so this uh, this is uh, your vc correct just okay so this is vc okay so vc is nothing but what your v3 okay 
So that is what it is written here. So we see when V3 are calculated as 0.053 meter cube. Now V1 is given as V3 plus Vs. So V1, if you look into the again PV diagram, you'll get this. So you know the value of V3, you know the value of Vs substitute, you'll get the value of V1. Okay. Now the process from 3 to 4 is polytropic expansion. You apply the PVT conversion equation for the polytropic expansion, it is what? Uh, if the process is from 1 to 2, suppose if the process 1 to 2 is uh, polytropic in nature, then the PVT conversion equation for that particular thing is what? V1 by P2 that is equals to V2 by V1 whole to the power of gamma that is equals to uh, T1 by T2 whole to the power of N divided by N minus 1. If it is uh, adiabatic, it is gamma. If it is N, it is a polytropic process. So uh, equate uh, the values of volumes and uh, the pressures then you will get this uh, uh, expression here. So, V4 is equals to V3 into P3 by P4 whole to the power of 1 by N. So, substitute the values 1 by 1. You know all the values, so you can calculate the value of V4. So, once the value of V4 and V1 are known, so once the value of V4 and V1 are known, you can use this expression here to calculate the work done. So, the work done, uh, substitute all the values in it, then we can uh, calculate the work done as 253.2 kilojoules. Okay. So next part of the problem, that was the first part. So second part of the problem says, if the work done uh, is carried out in two different stages, okay, then what is the difference in the work done that you will achieve? But what is the improvement in the work done that you will achieve? That was asked in the second part of the problem. Is that now? So you have to substitute. You have to take this particular formula which was derived. Uh, okay, so n into capital n into n minus one into p one into v one minus p four into r p whole to the power of n minus one divided by capital n into small n minus one. So the only change is you are uh, incorporating the new term which is capital n here and here. Okay, just substitute the value of n. Everything else is calculated already. So just substitute the value of n which is two. So you require the work done to be calculated in a double stage, right? So double stage in the sense it is two. Just substitute it. You will get it as two one seven point one five seven kilojoules. Okay. Now you have to calculate the improvement in the uh, work or the work saved. Okay. So, work saved is given as the change always the percentage improvement or percentage decrement is always given as the change divided by original. So, remember this concept. So, change divided by original will be giving you the percentage change. So, change is nothing but uh, W1 minus W2, correct? Divided by initial value was W1. So, into 100, if you do it, you will get around 14%. So, there was a decrement of 14%. You have reduced 14% of your work by making the compressor to work in a two stages. So that is the conclusion part of your problem. Now, uh, you solve this particular problem which is very much similar but be careful it has double acting. If it has double acting what you have to do? You have to multiply the obtained value of your work done with the two. So why you have to multiply it with two? Because for every single RPM you will be getting two volume outputs. After, at the both the uh, ends of your piston, correct? So for every uh, rotation of your crankshaft, you will be getting two outputs. So that's why you have to multiply the work uh, input into two. Okay. So the delivery pressure same. Everything is simple. Just try this. If you have any problem while solving this, please let me know. Okay. Thank you.